Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today is the second day of our journey from Gurgaon to Shillong. Yesterday we have covered at least 335 kilometers in 9 hours and 40 minutes. And uh, today's target is to reach Darbhanga Air Force Station which is in Bihar and it's 600 kilometers away from Lucknow. Talking about Kiko, Kiko was in deep sleep when we have started from Lucknow. As today's distance to cover is more than yesterday, we couldn't waste any time for tea or breakfast. But we managed to feed Kiko something before we were on the wheels. We will see whenever we get the chance, we will have something in between. But for now, time is premium. I think Kiko is more calm and composed today rather than yesterday. And because when we had started from Gurgaon yesterday, after saying goodbye to her brother, she tried to jump off the car as if she doesn't want to come with us. But today she is more comfortable, if not happy. So we drove about 165 kilometers before stopping the car at Dilona. This is Dilona, Bhagwanpur in UP, uh, where we stopped the car for the first time. Kiko took a large, expensive stroll and she tried to make friends with the buffalo around. Here she is. She, if not happy but she is enjoying the surroundings the greens you know and though it's the morning time the temperature is quite uh, high and maybe it's 34 or 35 degrees celsius but feels like 40 but in spite of the heat and uh, the sound and a new location Kiko stayed calm she enjoyed every bit of it she even shared few of my pakoras Sometimes that's okay, sometimes that's okay, we should let them indulge. Okay. Amidst all the heat and dirt and the screeching sound of passing vehicles, this hand pump, its water is so cold and refreshing, it's very clean and I made it a point to coming back to it again and again, see? As we are done with our breakfast and key code, and uh, we got something for the road to munch on, like freshly made tea and uh, you know, chips or something. It's time to move on. At this point, I would like to bring up something which is very important. Everyone knows that traveling with a dog or a pet is quite challenging. But I'll tell you why. Because due to constant movement, they easily feel motion sickness, which culminates into strong dizziness in them. Definitely motion sickness will be more if your pet is not leashed and tied up inside the car and tumbling freely here and there. So please tie your pet baby. The next most important thing to consider is a comfortable carrier where well you can carry your pet while traveling great distance so that your dog or pet can stretch his legs or stand up, turn around and lie down or sleep without any obstacles. Please don't stuff your suitcases and bags in the same seat where your pet is traveling because even a small thud or rumbling of the road can cause a great you know, anxiety in them. So it's important. This is our second stop today. Uh, it's a roadside dhawa in Kushinagar, UP. We are still traveling through UP and uh, Kiko is comfortable here. She had her food, she had a leisurely straw and we had good lunch here. She barked a lot because she wanted to play with those kids, otherwise she is very comfortable. There was a strong dust storm which delayed our journey a bit, otherwise uh, it was good, it was good. So it's time to move on again and this is quite a sight because for the first time in two days Kiko could lie down on her belly and um, enjoying the ride and for a dog parents we are so proud of her, really proud of her, she made it. She made it, yeah. This is the first check post in Bihar and we are entering into the Bihar now. And um, to reach Darbhanga Airport station, uh, we need to drive about at least 5-6 hours uh, more. And uh, this is Buri Gandha River and if you see carefully, all the side railings are mostly are missing and if you skip, then you are going straight down to the river. So be very careful if you are taking this route. As Kiko is lying down comfortably and we are heading towards Darbhanga Air Force Station, I just to bring up the third important point of traveling with your pet. Also great recipients of sound and smell and extensive driving requires to a minimum access to all those senses while driving fast at least because it's like having a constant 
chain of bomb blasts of sound and smell in flashes which will leave your pet drained out of energy and your dog will be fidgety because his natural system will fail to process those (uh) sounds and smells you know in this situation first thing to do is to close all the car windows and put some slow music to ease out uh, the nerves of your pet if not the rain follows enough we are having hail storms now but kiko is still comfortable can you see her yeah she's still lying down and uh, relaxed finally we are inside the darbhanga airways <laughs> officers mess and we are allotted one uh, family room with kids and that is so thoughtful and we are really really grateful <laughs> for the good food and shelter <laughs> and happy. kiko is happy because she is giving out lot of helicopter mo- tail moments you know so on that happy note uh, there is a quick comparison between day 1 and day 2 of kiko's conduct please go through it and one last important point we need to discuss while traveling always keep checking if your pet is in a comfortable position or not if he is giving out any anxiety signs like heavy panting or reshuffling again and again standing or barking incessantly then please stop the car and uh, take your pet out for a stroll do a loving pep talk the way your pet loves or appreciates because it's really really necessary to vent out their pent up emotions positive or negative let them feel that we care our pets are like those kids who will never grow up in life they will remain the same they will need our love and affection all their lives and we are the only ones they have got as family parents companions brothers and sisters just everything their lives are too short you know so love them as much as possible and by saying that i'm signing off see you tomorrow because there are two more days to go and thanks for visiting us and stay with us bye bye